Yo, what's up everybody? This is David and today I'm going to teach you how to change the FOV in Atomic Heart. So it's real simple. All you got to do is just download one program and that's it. So I'll show you how to do that. So go into your browser of choice and type in flawlesswidescreen.org or just click in the link in the description below. Once you're at this page, scroll down and you'll see Windows All Versions. Now you can download various different versions of this program, but I recommend download, downloading the X64 installer package. It's also recommended from them as well. So just click download, open file, click yes, and click next, and then save it wherever you want. Click next, click next, click next, install and then you can automatically launch it from here. So click finish. Yes. It's going to give you this little thing right here. You got to wait till the I agree is finished. Click I agree. Click close. This is going to say if you want it to automatically configure your settings, just click yes. And then you can change your settings from here. I wouldn't really mess with anything at first, but if you do want this to start with Windows, you can uh, click that and have it start automatically so that you can have the game or this program start with the game or with Windows and then you can play the game because you do need this program open in the background for it to work with Atomic Heart. So you can start minimized and start with Windows and then save changes. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm going to click save changes just like that. And then on the left side, you're going to see a list of games and you're going to want to click on Atomic Heart. It's going to automatically load it in there and that's it. So where you change your FOV is here on the left. This is your FOV slider. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you exactly the FOV you're going to have. So it's not like 100, 110, 120. It doesn't give you the values like that. It's just from 0% to 40% from what the game's in-game FOV already is. I found plus 40% is really good on my 55-inch OLED when I'm sitting really close to the screen. So this one, 40% feels to me like a 110 FOV, personally. So I leave it at plus 40%. Then you're going to want to minimize this, this window. You don't want to close it because if you close it entirely, it's not going to work. You do need the program to be open in the background in order for the game to work with this program. So just minimize it and open the game. All right, now, once you're in the game, you don't have to do anything. Just press space to start, then continue. So we're gonna wait till this loads up and we're gonna see that the FOV fix does indeed fix your FOV. And now you have a wider FOV, which is really nice for PC players. I really don't know why Atomic Heart did not include this. So yeah, as you can see, everything is nice and wide. way more enjoyable to play this. Oh, nope, that's a, that's a human. May I give you some advice? Look how much better everything looks. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous. I think the game's in-game FOV originally is like... 670 or 80 or something like that. Something really bad for PC. Even for console, that's a bad FOV. I would at least like to see 80, 85. But if I play in the couch, I usually play at 80 or 90. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this looting system is so good. See, now everything looks perspective correct. All the furniture doesn't look too big for for the space that you're in. Like it originally does, everything just looks correct. The game just generally looks a lot better. Doesn't hey, glove, look like you're playing you through a telescope. Major. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Get some. What's up? Alright. I think I showed enough. You can see more of the axe, for example. You can see more of the shotgun. Yeah, it's really nice. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh... Have a great day.